come down in this kind of heat and coming off a bye to win decisively. And well, I think the most important thing is the seventh win. Yeah. You know, we've only played nine games, a bunch of teams that are we're fighting for for playoff spots and playing a lot more games, so this was a very important game. I thought that this was the most important game we played as Bayhawks in the last four years because we had to get this game to continue where we're going. We went six in a row and, you know, and maybe the last time for a couple weeks that we have our whole team together with the world games and everything like that. So this game had a lot of emphasis and a lot of importance to us, and I thought we answered the bell today. How do you feel your defense is locked in? That's two back-to-back -back games where you've held the under opponent double under double digits. I think our goalie's been really good, you know. And I think we tonight we went face-offs, went early, really early. I thought Steven did a good job. And, uh, you know, we give up a, a man-up goal, which that was my fault as a coach. But I, I, I think overall our shorties were playing good defense, and, uh, and it's a good win for us. Do you think this was uh, your most complete game of the season so far? I don't know. Um, I, I, we, we, we played winning lacrosse today. I don't think we played great, but sure. I thought we played winning lacrosse. We shared the ball on offense. We probably had a few too many turnovers to be outstanding. And I thought early defensively we were running around with our heads cut off. So I thought for being off a layoff, we played solid enough to win. And, and we did. You talked about uh, after last game, slippage on some areas. Do you think they tightened back up in some of the areas? I think they did. We worked on ground ball play. I thought we dominated the ground balls in, in, inside those circles. We talked about transition. We got a few more transition goals. And so I think overall it was, we, we worked on it. We, as we chose it as it was like a law, so Atlanta, we worked on it that way. You talked about uh, winning a lot of face-offs early. Uh, seemed like Baptiste was winning late. Did you think about making the change to CJ any earlier than you did other than those last yeah, couple? There, there's a play where Steven stayed on the ground. He looked tired. He had stayed on the ground all year. So I, I wanted him to know that staying on the ground wasn't allowed. And that's why I put CJ in. And then after a couple more, then he came back in. But I thought our wings did a good job. And, uh, you know, a lot of 50-50 balls went our way. And, and against him, they're going to have to. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. You know, this is, uh, if, if I counted correctly, this is now 7 and 2. That matches the 7 and 2 you were after nine games in 2012, which is the best that you had for a nine, first nine game start since then. I mean, how well positioned do you think this team is to get it? You know what? All that matters is the next one. Let's just win the next one and go from there. You know, when you get in the playoffs, you just got to win two games. Right now, we put six in a row together, play a good team, the Lizards, and got a lot of firepower. We're going to have to play our best game. And I, I'm not, I don't look right now. You can't look at the big picture. You got to look at the little picture. Do you feel like it's an advantage having this string of home games after starting a couple on well, the that's road? that's the thing. I think having all these road games early was a tough challenge for us. But we got through it, and now we should be able to benefit from having home games. I think we're, what, three or four and one now at home? Three and one? Uh, I think, uh, yeah. Three and one, and we're four and one on the road. Right. So, you know, if we can put together, we said all along, when we got to this spot, if we could put to, take care of our home field, we're going to put ourselves in good position. Sure. How important do you think it's going to be against the losers that, uh, you know, um, you know, well, it's a quick turnaround. Will that factor in? Will the, will the rivalry factor in? That, well, it's, they're going to play hard. They need that game to win. We need that game to get to play also. It's going to be, a, I think it's going to be an intense, tough game. Did you? Did the heat affect the way you were running your rotations at all? Well, we went to six offensive middies and only two shorties because they play two-way guys and it's hard to get the shorties in. So we only played Manus and IDA this week. But we played six minis so we could run two units at a time. And I thought the midfield of Maloney, Abbott, and Ian McKay were really good. 